Alright, all pro football 2K8. Want to take a look at some very good awareness offensively and defensively in this play. And result's going to be a touchdown off a pass deflection to my tight end. Take a look at it at speed one time. And then we're going to break down exactly what happens. Now, one thing I don't like about this play is defenses that play zone coverage in the red zone. It's something I'm not a big fan of. I'd like to have my players get beat individually rather than get beat on placement, so to speak. But, again, different teams, different schemes, different personnel leads to different play calling. So I can understand why a team like this with generic players would play a zone coverage in the red zone. I will say that this is very good zone coverage. So essentially what I've got here is Irving Fryer. And you can see that the safety and the cornerback are both playing inside. So naturally, I want to throw to the ball the outside with enough of a lob where it's going to clear both of them and he's going to get a touchdown. And essentially, you'll see this would have worked. As right now, Irving Fryer's beat both the cornerback and the safety is obviously well in a position to make a play on the ball. Irving uh, has all the room in the world here to go secure the pass and score. The problem comes in with the fact that I get very good uh, pressure from the left side as I go to throw this ball and it makes me throw the ball a little bit sooner than I'd liked. Now I said again very good coverage here essentially this generic defensive back is in charge of being a stopgap for really three players. He's gonna watch the flat and shade Barry Sanders in front. He's gonna also shade behind him with the tight end and he also kinda has to play the first line of defense on a pass that's going to go to Irving Fryer. And as you can see, that's exactly what he's going to do. You can see he's in line here with Sanders. He's close enough to the tight end to make a play on the ball. And he's obviously in position here to be the first line of defense on a lob pass to Irving Fryer. Now what he's going to do is he's going to jump up and deflect this pass. Again, very good defense for zone, especially in the red zone, given these are generic defenders. One thing I do want to point out is these are separate pass deflection animations even though they're done at the same time by similar players similar skill sets they are if you look at the nuances of them slightly different something you really don't see a lot of Madden is variations when it comes down to pass deflection so the ball gets tipped up and you can see that my tight end locates it and catches it again very good player awareness and also you can go over to their linebacker and safety and watch they react to the ball being tipped there you can see their head movement follows the ball watches it get tipped watches the touchdown naturally these players are well out of position on these plays but again the head tracking really shows in this game there you see the ball tipped his body and head turns back watches it be a touchdown one more real quick thing about awareness that I wanted to bring up with these defenders is the fact that they don't react until the ball is thrown. You can see there have dropped back. They both react to the pass shortly after it's thrown in a very realistic time frame to react to a pass. There you see again the deflection and over here you'll see my tight end very alert catches and secures the ball and because it's zone coverage no one is around him. Again perfect defense but sometimes on a tip pass you're going to get a guy ine inevitably that is wide open and as long as he's able to be aware, locate the ball and make the catch, the end result will be a touchdown again no matter how good the defense is.